Uh, hey everyone, Metagross Freak here with one of my uh, personal favorite pieces. Um, I titled it Quit Calling Me Sir, which is a, uh, it's based off of, of course, the uh, Shantae, and I think this is, uh, uh, I think this is Pirate's Curse pose of uh, Shantae crossing her arms in annoyance, and uh, basically this was my self-portrait. I um, used a Pokemon creator a Pokemon Trainer Creator piece to create um, my character, how I portray my character in um, a variety of media, but primarily how I uh, design my character in both the Pokemon games and how I have my character um, in my fan fiction series, or at least for the, the first arc where my character was going back and forth between uh, Kalos and Hoenn. Um, I actually have a different design in later chapters now that my character has um, basically go gone on vacation to Unova. But I thought this was a really good pose, and so I used this um, for my, my, my self-portrait. I am I, I am accused of being kind of a, a grumpy Gus, so I, uh, I, I wanted to use this. Um, so that's why I may not look like any uh, recognizable character. Um, also, I realize, I, I, I fully recognize that uh, th while this character does not uh, resemble how I look on a day-to-day -day basis, this is essentially how I portray myself in, um, I guess, in a, in, in a, in a, uh, in a, uh, a fantasy setting. I'm looking at this weird target now. This weird target circle has appeared on the screen. And I don't know why that's there. Um, that's probably from a layer that I wasn't able to see that I was trying to use to like draw circles or something. And I'm curious now because it's not going away. This weird circle thing. I don't know if that'll show up in the uh, thing, but that's weird because um, it doesn't show up on the picture. But yeah, I essentially used uh, the Shantae pose to draw how I portray myself. Um, kind of as a, I guess it's, I guess you could call this as a hybrid of um, how I look, uh, basically how I dress in real life versus how I w wish I looked. And of course, give myself a Mega Stone, um, a Mega Stone pendant rather than the Mega Stone bracelets. Because um, I think the Mega Stone bracelet looks kind of stupid. Um, and uh, the two bracelets, or not bracelets, but bands I wear on my wrist are uh, light pink and uh, kind of like a gray, like a periwinkle. And uh, that's to represent my favorite types, which are Steel and Fairy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is a piece I'm really happy with, and I use it as kind of my, essentially my profile picture on a lot of social media, um, where I'm able to set it for, like, for things like this. Um, I think this was my profile picture on Facebook for about, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say about, three months. It's my profile picture on uh, my Tumblr, um, and I believe it's... It, it. I wanted to set it as my profile picture on Facebook, um, but it, for some reason, wouldn't go... Oh, this is also my profile picture on DeviantArt, where I have all of this uploaded. But yeah, I, I tried to set this as my profile picture on YouTube, but YouTube is a pain in the butt and won't... It doesn't like to let me upload images. In fact, I was... Uh, it took me like a week to get it to the current uh, picture I currently have, which is a fan art of Sylveon that I found, and it was uh, good enough that I decided to add in. Um, oh, there we go. And uh, just a couple more uh, design element things, I guess, is I don't actually wear um, off-the-shoulder shirts. Um, I really would like a shirt designed like the one I drew, kind of an off-the-shoulder, um, not necessarily like a scoop neck, but something that is um, a, a, basically a flattering shirt that uh, is, goes off the shoulders a little bit, um, wearing it with, um, as you can tell from the pink straps, a uh, pink bra, but uh, that was actually inspired by a uh, kind of like a magenta sports bra, which I actually own. Um, and so that's, that's my, it's, I guess, of the, 
it's kind of like the favorite one I have, which is why I use that. Um, then here I'm adding in the shading. I'm of course borrowing the shading um, shapes from Shantae as inspiration for where to put the shading. Um, shading is kind of, it's not really a strong suit of mine, so I take all the help I can get when it comes to shading. Essentially what I do is I basically just add kind of like a, it's not black, but a dark gray um, for shading. I essentially have a layer of dark gray and then I make it transparent to the point where I like how much shading there is, as you can, we'll probably see in a minute. I don't really, and uh, there we go. I have, I think it's about maybe like 10 or 15% on the shading. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that was the finished model. Um, don't know why it finished doing that, but going back to the uh, finished image. Hello, finished image. Well, that's frustrating. I'll just show you. Uh, going back to the finished image, there you have it. You can see my uh, lovely, lovely DeviantArt. Uh, there's basically the finished image, but I'll show it to you finally in my gallery um, through all my fan art. There we have it. Uh, quit calling me sir, my self-portrait on my DeviantArt. So yeah, come check out uh, this piece as well as uh, many other pieces at metagrossfreak.deviantart.com where you can see all the wonderful stuff I've made like my uh, League of Legends fictions my Pokemon fiction, and even some uh, cool art like this Darkrai Deoxys Fusion. Anyway, uh, until next time, uh, have a great one, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.